Can you tell us about the new research and development center that your business has started? So in the last, uh, in the last two years, we've, we've seen a lot of requirements in the market to be able to do uh, on-site research uh, for them. So we decided that we're going to move forward to open a business unit uh, that is called a CRO. And this is actually the soft launch of that business unit. A CRO stands for Contract Research Organization. Uh, we've partnered up with a Canadian company called Poly Analytic that has an established base as, uh, as CRO. Uh, they've been very instrumental and we've invested in a lab that uh, uh, we brought in equipment from Canada to be able to conduct such services. These services include absolute molecular weight, intrinsic viscosity, composition, size, structure. So basically we're molecular detectives. We're able to look at any type of uh, downstream uh, material, any type of polymer oil based material and be able to see is this HHTPE the right quality? Does it have the right uh, breakage? Uh, is it able to withstand certain temperatures, certain heat? We can do that with PVCs. We've been receiving a lot of requests recently uh, from companies in the oil and gas sectors, from the companies that are working with the Ministry of Health, pharmaceutical companies, and in the wastewater sector, then this is why we're here in Wetex, there's a lot of applications in polymers, especially in the po uh, polyacrylamide, which is a new let's say, a new emerging contaminant that uh, we know is being considered uh, that will be labeled as a contaminant and is very hard to detect. We have a specific process that can detect this type of contaminant that is an everlasting chemical and will have effect on human health. So on the, let's say, on the non-biochemical side and purely biological side, we've also been involved in being able to holistically look at lake management in a different way. The current approach now to lake management is to be able to, you know, either chemically treat it or physically remove it. And we decided to go, you know, using the same mindset as a CRO uh, contract resource organization, we said, let's look at this from a top-down approach. So we looked at the biota, you know, we started with the smallest animals, your phytoplanktons, and then we looked at the zooplanktons, and then we looked at the primary producers, and up to all the way to the apex predators. And we realized in an open system, you have to always consider that one species can become invasive if it takes over some another species. So some of the biggest problems that you do find in uh, these lakes that you find in Sparta is that they're huge algae blooms, and that's unfortunate from either nutrient runoff that's coming in from the uh, TSC or uh, from type of other suspended solids. So within our research, we decided we need to cultivate a healthy uh, predator for algae, which is zooplankton. And we discovered this species of Daphnia that's actually been discovered also by the higher colleges in Al Ain. They announced it, I think, on September 24th, but we've been seeing it uh, bounce around uh, maybe the last six months in this lake. And what's specific about this zooplankton, it says it has a voracious appetite to be able to consume algae. And on top of it, it can be able to sustain in high temperatures. And this is very, very unique because usually this type of zooplankton is very sensitive to temperatures. So we took an initiative to start incubating. And now we're in our lab, we're starting to upscale them to be able to produce them in, in bigger quantities. So whenever there's an algae bloom, these guys, we can throw them in and they'll be able to consume the algae in a non-invasive ways. And they stick around and they also serve as food for the fish. So, you know, that's another predator on top of them. So it's a mindset, you know, and it's all part of our efforts, you know, within the research and development center that we've developed here. So Concord Corotex Group has been around for almost 50 years, I believe. Next year will be our 50th anniversary. Next year we'll be in businesses in 50 years. And uh, the company has been started by my father uh, in 1974. Uh, we started as a trading company and, you know, I joined with my brother uh, in 2004. And, you know, we have a great team. We have a lot of people that are just really amazing to work with. And, you know, they believed in our mission vision to evolve into, you know, first into a services company and then to a manufacturing company. And now we're really, you know, with this new venture, we're, you know, this is where we believe the next step is, is research and development innovation and being able, to, you know, to use the current conditions here in order for us to have indigenous projects, products to this part of the world and sell them everywhere, actually. That's great. Uh, so I believe you work very closely with the local authorities. Um, uh, other than Kudra Lakes, what other projects have you worked on? So we're working a lot of projects. Unfortunately, I've signed a lot of NDAs we can't currently talk about because it is sensitive research. Uh, but almost all the authorities, we were working with them, uh, either with they're based out of Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Northern Emirates. Um, you know, within the UAE, because there's such a, you know, fast-paced 
uh, innovation, forward thinking uh, process. It really serves as fertile grounds uh, for companies like us to be able to consider, you know, hey, I have a product, would you like to pilot it? And you know, our customers are very open to that. They're very willing to say, Monad, yes, I have this problem, let's try this. And you know, they're not expecting specific results, but they understand they can be part of the journey to discover you know, if this is the right solution or not. Plus, with the, with the pushing of the ICV program, the in-country value program that was set by Dr. Sultan Jaber and Adnok, there's really a big impetus to be involved in innovation and, and homogenize you know, our technology in this part of the world based on the conditions here. That's a great initiative and we wish you all the best Thank for this. So Thank you.